walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Andre Ward's trainer Virgil Hunter did an interview with FightHype.com, and he feel like Andre Ward won't get the credit that he deserved when he beat Sergey Kovalev. And he released a statement, and he said, the first thing they're going to do is go back to the Chalimba fight, rather than giving Dre the credit. They'll give Chalimba the credit for so-called exposing Kovalev. It's already in place. And let me tell you what, man. Andre Ward going to get the credit. He going to get the credit because Andre Ward moved up in weight and took a chance in, in taking that fight. You know what I'm saying? you literally facing a killer. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of motherfuckers in the sport of boxing that ain't willing to move up a, a weight class. Just one weight class. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers staying in their same weight class they whole motherfucking career. It's a lot of these motherfuckers ducking fights and not wanting to take dangerous fights and shit. So Andre Ward can get the credit. You know what I'm saying? HBO ain't got to give them the credit. We know. We know what's real. Shit, just like when they, they bumped them down and put Triple G ahead of them pound for pound. We no nobody really respect that shit. We all know, man. Shit, put Triple G's resume next to Andre Ward's. His resume don't look like shit. Motherfucker fight smaller fighters and B-level fighters and shit his whole fucking career. Won't take no chances. Ducking out of fights and shit. Making excuses left and fucking right. You get the credit. Fuck HBO. Cause they all they want to do is hype these motherfucking foreign fighters up. Left and right. Lomachenko, Kovalev, Triple G. They have motherfucking excused these motherfuckers ducking fights. They allowed Kovalev to duck Adonis Stevenson. But you know, you want to make Andre Ward agree to fight Kovalev to give him his contract. Triple G is free to fight motherfucking fighters two divisions down. Yeah, Andre Ward will get the credit. He'll get the credit that he deserved. And he should be pound for pound number one after that fight. Virgil Hunter also said, you have to give him pound for pound. But that's no big thing to us because we know we pound for pound. Nobody took it from us in the ring. And y'all know, y'all know how many, how much politics it is in the sport of boxing. Y'all remember when Floyd Mayweather had, you know, he had left the sport for a couple years and then he came back. But he was pound for pound number one when he left. And then they, they had Manny Pacquiao as number one. And then they kept him as number one for a long ass time. And then, even when Manny Pacquiao lost to Bradley, it was supposed to be a robbery. Okay, yeah. They still didn't, you know, take him down on a pound-for-pound pound list. They left him where he was and just said he deserved to win a fight. But guess what? When Marquez was getting robbed, they was excusing the shit. You see what I'm saying? Double standards. They don't give a fuck. HBO is full of shit. And I suggest when Andre Ward get through with Sergey Kovalev, you don't go back to that motherfucker. Go fight for Showtime, PBC, something. Anything but HBO. Fuck the motherfuckers. Shit, y'all motherfuckers. Y'all got this fighter fighting on y'all network, making y'all money. And then you gonna sit here and talk shit about him while he in the ring, in his hometown. Motherfuckers watching on TV. Y'all sitting there talking shit about him. But then y'all praise somebody else when they fighting, even if it ain't an exciting fight. It's not his fault that he's shutting these guys out. They ain't got a chance. They look like shit in there. It ain't his fault. They should have came to fight. If he went in a fight, what the fuck more do you want? I'm winning this round. I don't want six rounds straight. What the fuck are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? To change things. Or you just going to let me win every motherfucking round. You ain't got to do shit if you win. It's on the other fighter that's losing to change the tide. Take chances. But no. Nah, motherfuckers rather coast to a, a you know, 12 round to zip loss. And then make excuses. You know what? Ain't no former Andre Ward opponents ever gave him credit. They all salty. All of them motherfuckers. Every single one of these top fighters that Andre Ward done beat is salty than a motherfucker. I wonder why. Why is that? You know what I'm saying? That he beat your ass and you thought that it was going to be easier than it than it, it was? Or you thought you was going to pull it off? Or I mean, I don't get it. I have never heard a former Andre Ward opponent say, Damn, you know, I gave him my best, but Andre Ward was just a better man that night. It's always some fucked up ass, fuck boy ass excuse why they lost to Andre Ward. Making excuses. You know what I'm saying? Or they try to blame it on their preparation or or whatever. Make this I had an off night or I had to do this or I had to do that. It's always a bunch of bullshit. His opponents don't give him the credit that he deserved. HBO ain't giving him the credit that he deserved. The Ring magazine, pound for pound rankings ain't giving him the credit that he deserved. But guess what? 
Y'all are gonna give him the money that he deserve. And then, you know, true boxing fans already know. We know he pound for pound number one right now. Nobody give a fuck about what y'all talking about. The fuck? So, look, man, Sergey Kovalev, he won two of his belts from old ass Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins still, you know, a good fighter. He can beat like most of those light heavyweights, but he's still 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? And then he won the other one from Nathan Cleverly. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, but Kovalev is ranked higher than Andre Ward pound for pound. Andre Ward's resume is shitting all over Kovalev's. Why the fuck is he ranked higher? And Triple G, B-level fighters and, and smaller fighters going wild. What the fuck has he ever done in his career to deserve to be number three pound for pound in the world out of all of these motherfucking fighters? Terrence Crawford done did more in his career than fucking Triple G. Triple G should be way down there, like number seven, number eight, some shit like that. Maybe even lower. This fighter's taking chances and shit, trying to prove they self. And then you got motherfuckers cherry-picking smaller fighters and, and two divisions down and, and fighting B-level fighters, C-level fighters and shit, carefully selecting their opponents. You know what I'm saying? And then making their name off of ducking a fighter and talking shit about them in the media. And then you're going to rank this motherfucker high as fuck over Andre Ward. When last I checked, HBO is an American network. The Ring Magazine is an American motherfucking, is an American magazine. Last I checked, but you're going to rank this motherfucking Kazakhstan fighter, you know, over our American. You know what I'm saying? Andre Ward is the highest ranked American on a pound for pound list. Number four. And then you're going to give Triple G number three from Kazakhstan. And he fighting bums and smaller fighters. And then you're going to give Sergey Kovalev number two from Russia. And his claim to fame was beating a, a Bernard Hopkins who was in his 50s. Rematching John Pascal when it wasn't necessary. Beating Nathan Cleverly, which was a decent win. But damn, you should put your resume next to Andre Ward. You don't look like shit. Roman Gonzalez is a good fighter. He's a, he's a pretty solid fighter, man. But you know, um, accomplishments-wise... He don't compare to fucking Andre Ward. None of these motherfuckers. But you got him at number four. That shit, that shit don't look right. Well, fuck the motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? Real boxing fans know. You know what I'm saying? I really think they should give him the credit that he deserved, at least in the rankings. He does, If he beat Sergey Kovalev, he go in there, you know what I'm saying, and pull that shit off. He moved up in weight. He took chances. Y'all tried to feed him to Sergey Kovalev, thinking that he would lose. And if he go in there... And dominate Sergey Kovalev. I don't even dominate him. You don't got to. You know what I'm saying? Because like Keith Thurman said, he who wins seven rounds wins twelve rounds. All you need is seven. And I doubt Sergey Kovalev will win five rounds. Look, man, Sergey Kovalev, he has devastating power. But talent wise, he ain't nowhere close to Andre Ward. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. All you got, all Sergey Kovalev got is a motherfucking puncher's chance. You ain't going to be able to try to power box Andre Ward like you did Bernard Hopkins. You know what I'm saying? Bernard Hopkins would have beat the shit out of Sergey Kovalev about 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? He was still a good enough fighter to get them two belts. But still, Sergey Kovalev wouldn't have had a fucking chance 15 years ago. And I'm just saying a 35-year-old Bernard Hopkins would have beat Sergey Kovalev. Not a motherfucking 30-year-old Bernard Hopkins. He turned pro late, but still. Saying like a 35-year-old Bernard Hopkins would have beat the shit out of Sergey Kovalev. Might have even stopped him. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you coming forward, you walking right into punches. Bernard Hopkins loved that style. Y'all see what he did to Trinidad? Trinidad was, was supposed to be so tough. Bernard Hopkins went into that fight, the underdog, beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? Kelly Pavlik was supposed to be so tough. Bernard Hopkins went into the fight, the underdog, beat his ass. Sergey Kovalev would have got the same treatment. So, you know... Look, man, all you got is a puncher's chance in that fight against Andre Ward. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. One minute you trying to act like he's in your head and shit. You know, you want to say hi and, and shake hands and shit like a motherfucker, your friend. And then the next minute, I don't care about what he's doing. I don't care about his preparation. That's the fuck you do. Motherfucker, you shook. You scared. You going into this fight, the underdog, and you got three of the belts at fucking light heavyweight, and you viewed as the number one light heavyweight in the world. And you going into that fight, the underdog, against a smaller fighter. So, 
When start, when when Andre Ward pull that shit off and beat the shit out of Sergey Kovalev, he gonna get the credit. And even if HBO don't give him the credit, real boxing fans gonna give him that motherfucking credit. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I gotta quit fucking with you. I gotta quit fucking with you.